red cylinder, huh? Big and glowing. Looks perfect. Here you go. Gotta find something that looks important. Looks important. Let's blow it up. What was that? Yo, these bombs are hotter than we thought. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get in here. That wasn't a bad fuck you to Zinyak. Let's get out of here and find Kenzie. Apologized. He's probably been working this angle for a while. Hell, he might have even been the one who tipped off Zinyak about Johnny. Doubt it. Dante said that the lowest circle of hell was reserved for betrayers. But it's important to remember that it's the storyteller who decides who the hero is, not morality. But while philosophers will spend years debating the ethics of the Kinsey Gambit, the Saints had a less charitable view. Keith David is a dead man. trouble. I need to better familiarize myself with how the simulation works. I figure if I watch the changes to the code take place when you do a few different tasks for me, I should get a stronger grasp on the workings of Zin programming. Fine, but I better get something out of this. Matt, I've been thinking. We could all be dead soon, so... Shit, I can't believe I'm saying this. You don't have to die a virgin. Can you call me Nightblade? Are you fucking serious? You still want to have a go? Uh, what the hell?
hasn't it? That is an understatement. You've changed so much. We both have. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, whatever happened with that guy who won your dating show? Puerto Rican Thunder God? He was sweet and all, but performance didn't live up to the name. Look, I gotta tell you something. It always drove me crazy that you had exes in every city and were willing to go on a dating show, but not once did you ever give me a shot. You never asked for that. I'm asking now. Then let's make up for lost time. You have skills, there's no questioning that. But I'm curious if you can meet the standards of MI6. I'd like to watch you in action and see for myself. MI6, huh? Alright, I'm game. Hush, I respect you too much to bullshit you. You don't respect me. Yeah, that's, that's true. What do you want? I'm looking for rough sex and Kinsey scares the shit out of me. I stay on top and you don't get to talk. Deal. I know firsthand what this war with the Zen has cost us. How many more need to die before we realize that the time has come for us to put aside our pride and focus not on division, but unity? Does Zinyak have a strong personality? Absolutely. But then again, so did the previous president. And you know what? When I look at the two of them, I see more similarities than differences. Both have proven leadership experience. Both maintain their composure in high-pressure situations. Both have a love of Jane Austen. But most importantly, both of them will not stop until they get what they want. For this war to end, we need to stop rattling sabers and realize that victory doesn't come from annihilating an enemy, but by making an enemy your friend. All of us are heroes in our own stories. The time has come for us to grow up and have perspective. Earth will have its salvation, but it will come on the back of humility, not violence. Cute speech. Where's the part where you talk about selling out humanity? Humanity? Does that mean the nine of us? Earth is gone because you provoked a madman. I trusted you, Keith. And I trusted you. The country trusted you. And look where that led us. So what, you're putting your faith in Zinyak? Giving up your free will to be ruler of some bullshit daydream? You don't get it. Zinyak said he can restore Earth. All I have to do is kill you. 
He's lying to you. Maybe, but there's billions of lives at stake. If he's telling the truth, what's one life for the greater good? You sound just like Julius. He was right. Kenzie's recording this. Better than everyone! Stop! 